Staffies, Amstaffs and Pitties are celebrated for their keen intelligence, unwavering loyalty and formidable strength. Yet, these impressive traits demand a profound comprehension of canine psychology and a dedication to conscientious pet ownership. In this video, we'll explore effective leadership techniques for Staffies, whether your Staffie respects you already and, if not, what you can do to become the trusted leader your Staffie needs. Let's begin with an essential insight. Why are leadership and structured environments crucial? Contrary to the notion of dominance, leadership and structure are about instilling a sense of security and balance in your Staffie's life. As natural pack animals, dogs require a definitive leader. Without one, they might feel the urge to fill that void, potentially leading to unwanted behavioral patterns. By positioning yourself as a composed, authoritative figure, you offer your dog the direction and stability they crave. A well-structured setting defined by clear rules and expectations significantly reduces anxiety and confusion, paving the way for a harmonious and respectful relationship between you and your canine companion. Staffordshire Bull Terriers, like all dogs, flourish in environments where expectations are clear and consistent. Establishing routine rules creates a secure and stable atmosphere, crucial for reducing anxiety and stress. This clarity not only reassures your Staffie about their role, but also sets a predictable framework for their daily interactions. Effective leadership is instrumental in addressing behavioral changes. By setting clear boundaries and guiding your Staffie with a firm yet gentle hand, you can significantly diminish common issues such as excessive barking, destructive chewing, or aggression. Recognizing and respecting the pack hierarchy simplifies the training process. Staffies who view their owners as leaders are more responsive to commands, facilitating a smoother and more effective training experience. Consistent leadership fosters a deeper, more meaningful bond based on mutual respect and trust. This strong connection is the cornerstone of a healthy and fulfilling relationship with your Staffie. A structured approach is key to successfully socializing your dog. Well-behaved Staffies accustomed to a disciplined environment adapt more easily to new situations, people, and other animals. A Staffie that listens and respects its owner is inherently safer. Such dogs are less prone to erratic behaviors like wandering off or engaging in conflicts, ensuring both their safety and the safety of others. Leadership and structure often involve training exercises that challenge your Staffie mentally. Keeping them engaged and mentally active is vital for their overall well-being. Clear leadership instills confidence in dogs. Understanding their place within the human pack reduces fearfulness and shyness, leading to a more confident and well-adjusted Staffie. Without clear leadership, some dogs may try to assert themselves as the alpha, leading to dominance-related behaviors. By taking on the leadership role, you prevent these issues from arising. Interestingly, both dominant and shy dogs benefit from effective leadership. A fearful dog, when provided with a leader who offers love, patience, and guidance, is less likely to develop behavioral issues such as indiscriminate barking. This leadership helps them understand their place in the pack, reducing the burden of assuming a role they are not suited for. When your Staffie respects and trusts you, they look to you for cues on how to react, enabling you to guide them calmly and assertively. Is my Staffie showing me respect? Key indicators to observe. Observe how your Staffie responds to basic commands like sit, stay, or come. A Staffie that respects you will respond promptly and without hesitation. Watch your dog's behavior on a leash. Is he walking calmly beside you or pulling on the leash? Calm walking without pulling indicates respect and acknowledgement of your leadership. At this point, opinions may differ. Generally, the rule for all dogs is to greet respectfully without excessive excitement or jumping. However, I am not sure if we need to put this rule in parentheses for Staffies, given their trademark exuberance for human interaction. It's like asking a kid not to get overly excited at a candy store. We're talking about a breed that practically invented the happy dance for people. Watch how your Staffie behaves during meals. A respectful dog demonstrates patience, waiting calmly for their food without begging, stealing, or showing aggression. This respect is further evidenced if you can effortlessly remove a bone or food bowl from them. Respectful behavior extends to how your Staffie interacts with other pets in the household. A Staffie that recognizes your leadership will not overly assert dominance over other pets. Notice how the dynamics might change in the presence of different dog parent and how harmony is maintained under your guidance. Evaluate your Staffie's behavior concerning shared spaces like sofas. Does your Staffie willingly make space for you and respond positively to your commands to move? 
Observe whether your staffy is attentive to both your verbal and non-verbal signals. This attentiveness indicates their respect and understanding of your wishes and commands. Assess your staffy's playfulness. A respectful dog plays gently, ensuring not to cause harm, and will cease playing immediately upon your command. These indicators are not just reflections of respect, but they also signify a deep-seated bond and understanding between you and your Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Recognizing and nurturing these behaviors will enhance your relationship, creating a harmonious and mutually respectful environment for both of you. Now here are seven practical tips to help you establish a respected and loving bond. Use the same words for commands and maintain consistency in your expectations. This clarity helps your dog understand what is expected and strengthens your role as a leader. Dogs are adept at reading body language. Your posture, gestures, and facial expressions should convey confidence and calmness, reinforcing your position as the pack leader. The tone and volume of your voice can significantly impact how your dog perceives your commands. A firm, calm voice is often more effective than a loud, aggressive one. Creating a structured environment involves setting rules and boundaries. This structure provides your dog with a clear understanding of acceptable behavior. It's crucial to enforce these boundaries consistently to avoid confusion. For example, when you repeat a command like sit several times, it teaches the dog that it doesn't need to respond immediately. The command becomes background noise rather than a clear instruction to be followed right away. Positive reinforcement is a powerful tool. Rewarding your staffy for good behavior with treats, praise, or affection reinforces that behavior. This approach not only encourages respect, but also strengthens the bond between you and your dog. Training sessions are an excellent way to establish respect and improve communication. Regular, consistent training reinforces your role as the leader and keeps your staffy mentally stimulated. Additionally, adequate physical exercise is vital. A well-exercised staffy is typically more relaxed and easier to train. Spend quality time with your dog. Play with them, cuddle, and engage in activities they enjoy. This strengthens your bond and mutual respect. Remember, we all have busy days or times when we're not 100% consistent. I've been there too, calling Runa and getting ignored because I wasn't as consistent. I don't get upset. Instead, I recalibrate my expectations and step up my game as a dog owner. I make recall fun, use praise and treats, and gently reinforce commands. Building a relationship based on respect, which includes love, patience, structure, consistency, and fun, ensures that you can always guide your dog back to good behavior. How do you and your staffy define leadership and respect? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below.